Now this is really interesting. So I'm going to show you a variable speed pump and I'm going to show you it running at two different speeds. The first speed is going to be the maximum speed that the pump will go, 3,450 RPM. And I'm going to show you how much flow we can get at 3,450 RPM. And I'm going to show you how much power it consumes at 3,450 RPM. And then we're going to drop the RPM down. And we're going to drop it down to 2,700 what do you think is going to happen to these numbers? I think you're going to be surprised to see. So let's go ahead and just start with maximum speed. And we'll take a look at the power consumption. Top right number. 2.28 kilowatts. That's 2,280 watts. One hundred and four, one hundred and five gallons per minute. This is a two inch system that this is running on currently, two inch PVC. So again, we're looking at 2.27 kilowatts and just over 100 gallons per minute at 104. That's a few hundred less, 2750. So what do you think happened to our flow rate and electrical consumption? First of all, let's look at the flow rate, or sorry, look at the electrical consumption. 1.19 kilowatts. So that is almost half, almost half the amount of power that it was running at before, just by going down a few hundred RPM. And look at the flow rate, almost 80 gallons per minute. We were just a shade over 100 before and we can cut the power in half and still be getting almost 80 gallons per minute and that's why variable speed pumps are great. This is just one example on the top end of the scale how turning down the pump even just a small amount can equal a huge amount of savings without sacrificing your filtration. If you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com.